I think that the United States making DNA testing mandatory is stupid. I don't think that, you know, it's something that if you feel like you need a DNA test, go do that on your own time because you feel that way. I don't think every person, there's millions of people in the United States. Like, it doesn't make sense that people could be using that time to do other things. Like, you could be saving a life. You could be in the hospital saving a life. I personally pay taxes and I care about where my money goes. I'm not here to pay for so-and-so because there's a confusion about who's the father. That's not my business. Handle your, your personal shit. And for me, I want to fund schools. I want to fund the MTA because the trains are never on time. We got bigger problems. We have bigger problems. I'm sorry, I'm not paying for no mandatory test. And you should, we all should. And they could also make it free too. The fact is it needs to exist because a lot of women are taking advantage of men and a lot of children are suffering because of it. That's why it needs to exist. If women weren't free and out there having sex and lying to men about the paternity of a child, then we wouldn't have this problem. The reason why it's even a discussion is because it's actually a problem, but it's not a problem that women have to deal with. That's why a lot of them say, oh, it's stupid. It shouldn't exist. It shouldn't matter because it's one more chink out of their armor. You see what I'm saying? It's one more thing that they can't use to take advantage of men. That's why they don't want it to be a law, but it definitely should because men are getting raked over the coals. I just understand why it's so selfish of you women who debate and argue against these mandatory paternity tests. Because we hear these stories time and time again. We see numerous clips of men presenting the DNA papers to their woman and say, hey, look, it's proof that I am not the father. You are not. Lion, I'm the father of that baby boss. Boss, I'm that baby's daddy. I'm a baby. <laughs> I don't think there's any issue with a man taking care of another man's child. Women do it all the time, whether you know or not. He might bring another child and say, oh, I had I, I had this out of our wedlock, you know, what are we gonna do? Or he's taking your money and, and paying child support to another family, you had no idea. So when we're just like jumping like, oh, oh, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that, hold on, it's already being done. You could have been doing so many other things with your life, you could have been figuring your life out, I don't know, feeding pigeons, I don't know, doing anything but you raising a kid that is not yours. I mean, if you had the option to know that was your kid and you wanted to raise that kid, um, that's perfectly fine. A lot of people do that. But when you don't know, you're doing it out of the um, obligation or the mindset that this is my child, I'm gonna raise him or her, I'm gonna raise him up, I love them, this is my DNA, this is my um, blood. And then come to find out, that's not your kid. I mean, in all honesty, I think, you know, with government, you know, potentially passing a law to make DNA like a must, I think it works out for the best for everyone, in all honesty, because for a kid, I think the kid deserves to know who's their real mother and father. Um, and if it's something that we start now, it's something that makes it an easier conversation down the road where it's not necessarily about trust, but it's just something that comes as a part of having a kid. I mean, you know, you've already tested the baby to make sure that it's healthy. Why not test to make sure you understand who the parents are? I agree. I mean, I don't see why there's even a, a problem or debate about it. You know, like I said before, if it wasn't such a problem, there would be no need for this law. You know, there's nothing wrong with the man saying, you know what, that's not my biological child and I choose to take care of him. And, and, and that that's OK if that's what a man chooses to do. But for a man to sit there and take care of a child that's not his and he be, and he believes it is. He believes this wholeheartedly that this is his child and so does the child because the mom is not just lying to the man. She's also lying to the child. And then what happens when that child gets older and they find out the truth, they're not just going to be mad at the mom. They're going to be mad at the dad too. You know what I'm saying? So it's not fair to, to anyone. It's not fair to a healthy relationship. It's not fair to anyone. Like I said, it's a good thing because this, is another thing that helps or that stops women from, from being so promiscuous um, and from doing things and hiding it from men. There is so many men out there that are taking care of children that are not even theirs and they think that that's their child. And it's just wrong. 
you know. And a lot of men will just step up to the plate even if they have doubts and still do it. But on one thing that you need to do is understand this, guys. Even if you're in a relationship with the woman and you know the child is not yours, right? Let's say you stay with her for a few years or something like that. That child gets used to you. You're doing stuff for the child, taking them to school, helping them with her homework, all this stuff. Now, you decide, I'm not going to be in a relationship with her. She decides she's not going to be in a relationship with you. If she decides to take you to court for child support, odds are she's going to get it, even though you're not the biological father, because the court is going to look at what's in the best interest of the child. And if you've been doing that and that child is used to that, they're going to make you continue to do that. This has already happened in a, in a lot of states, and this is probably another reason why uh, this law is coming up, because there's actually been men that have been jailed for not paying child support for children that are not theirs after they found out that it wasn't theirs or um, when they knew it wasn't theirs and they spent some time with the child and then went to you know court and the, and the judge says no you still have to do this because the child is used to this and the child thinks that you're her parent you're the only parent that the child knows so i think that this law is is very important i think it'll stop a lot of women from playing a lot of games that they play um with getting pregnant because see check this out with men we don't know if a child is ours the only one that knows exactly who the child belongs to is the woman because it belongs to her see men don't have that luxury you know women are the ones who are pregnant they know without a doubt that that baby is mine because it's in her stomach right men have to go off of what the woman says they have to believe and be secure in the fact that that's my woman that's my child you know and and unfortunately it's it, it's not clear for a lot of men because women want to have men friends they want to go on uh, girls trips they want to you know do all these different type of things they want to constantly put themselves in situations with around men they still want to be friends with their exes all these type of things so i think this law is a good thing i think it's 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 uh long overdue but again you know it, there would be no need for it if it wasn't a problem clearly it is a problem you have the power to achieve anything you want don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals and remember stay focused stay strong and stay positive make sure to like subscribe and share this video with those in need